So first, you're going to need Blender, Blender Source Tools, GCF Scape, Probar, VTF Edit, and optionally Notepad++ and WinRAR or 7-Zip. So for this, I'm making a pistol mod. So first, you are going to have to make a new folder in your custom folder. The directory should be tf slash custom slash new folder. Open the tf2 underscore miss underscore dir dot vpk file in your tf folder with gcf scape and go to the models folder. Depending on the weapon you are modding, you either have to go to the weapons workshop or workshop partner folder, then go to the C models folder. Now, if you are lost which folders to go to, uh, go to this list of TF2 model folder names on Steam. Then drag the files into your new folder, open crowbar, and now make sure your TF2 compiler is set. Decompile the model and go to Blender. Make sure you have the Blender Source Tools add-on in Blender. Then click on the file part on the top left. Then select Import. Then select SMD. <coughs> then select the model. If your model has LODs, then select the one that doesn't have a number. Then import the model. You want to replace it with in edit mode. Resize it to match the proportion in object mode. Select the model you are adding. Then hold control and select the armature. Press control and P and select empty bone group. Select the triangle icon and in edit mode. Select the tries on the model to the tries of the original model. Delete the original model, then put the new model in the old model's folder. Select the model and go to the material editor. And keep in mind the name of the texture, you will need this for later. You can change it if you want, then select the scene icon, then select the export path. Make sure it is the same one as the decompiled model folder. Then open the .qc file in notepad or notepad++. If it has any LODs and you can just delete them. Who cares about performance anyway? If you want to add red or blue variants, you can just do them right here. Make sure they are near each other like this. Make sure you have the materials folder you'll need for later. You can change the, the directory or you could add some new directories. Once you get the QC file ready, open crowbar and go to the compile section and select the QC file and select the compiled directory to tf underscore custom underscore new folder or whatever you name the new folder. Now with the materials folder you had before in the QC file, start it out with materials then the rest of the directories from the file. Once you got all of them, add the texture you want. Open VTF edit in the top left where it says file select import. Find the texture you want to add. Now, if this was your first time using it, press advance. Then where it says version, select 7.3 or it will not work. Once you have imported it, press save and find the directory of the mod and find the directory of the materials folder and name it the name of the material that was in Blender. Once you have it saved, go to where you saved it and open the VMT file in Notepad or Notepad++. Replace the light map generic with a vertex lit generic or else the textures will be invisible. Then to make it to where you can see spies that are invisible that are on your team, just add this text. It'll be in a paste bin link. Now that you have set this up, save it and try running TF2. Open your inventory and put on the weapon you change. If it didn't work, try seeing if adding another folder before the weapons folder called workshop or workshop partner will make it work. If it did work after me telling you my way of modding, then you can optionally package it as a PPK file by dragging it into the TF2 folder and then dragging it into the bin folder and then dragging it into the vpk.exe it'll make a vpk file automatically then you just take your folder or vpk file and zip slash compress it using winrar or 7-zip or the win don't compressing tools now you hopefully successfully create a TF2 mod